Hello, Pastor Mark. Hello. Barb. Uh, just wanted to say thank you so much and for everything you've done for us and for the church. We're certainly going to miss you guys. It's very bittersweet. Right, Mom? We will definitely miss you and we're very grateful for <laughs> everything that you've done. And um, we wish you all the best. Absolutely. We'll pray for your trip, and uh, hopefully our paths cross again. Bye, everybody. May his favor ah. be upon you, and a thousand generations, and your family, and your children, and their children, and their children. How do you thank people who've changed your lives? Thank you, Pastor Mark and Barb. You came at a very dark time in my life. Pastor, thank you for your words of encouragement, for your wisdom, for your sense of humor, for being there when I needed you. Thank you for introducing me to a beautiful lady who tried to teach me Bible study. Barb, thank you for trying to teach me, and thank you for showing me what a woman of God is. I will always appreciate everything that you have done for me. I will keep you close to my heart. I will cover you in prayer. God has a special plan for you and someone else who needs your wisdom and your sense of humor and your encouragement. Love you lots and thank you so much. You are truly, truly appreciated. Take care and love you beyond words. God bless you both. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Pastor Mark and Barb, for everything. Wish you all the best. Love you all the best. Amen. 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 Now, uh, we get so used to the mercy and the goodness of God in our day that we forget that God is also a God of justice. And that there is a day coming when, when uh, man is storing up uh, the wrath of God. And someday the wrath of God will be revealed against the ungodly. Uh, and yet we live in a day of mercy and grace and goodness. And the fact is that every day that we wake up, we ought to be saying, Thank you, God, that I'm, I'm alive today. Thank you that I've got breath to breathe. That you've allowed me to live because every day we sin. What does the Bible say about sin? The wages of sin is what? It's death. And rightfully, God should just take us out every time we sin. That's, that's, that's the Old Testament law. And yet God continues to reveal His mercy and His grace towards us every day. Every day. And we ought to be thankful every day that He gives us another day to breathe and to live and to serve Him. That's His goodness. Dear Pastor Mark and Barb, you have been a true blessing to our family. The Love you. We're gonna miss you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. May His presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing. He is for you. Is for you. Uh, for Christians, hope is always based on the promises of God. Why? Because God's promises are always true. God doesn't lie. He can't lie. He's always going to say what is truthful. And so uh, our hope is always based on what? God's word. God's word is always truthful. We can trust it. Uh, it's, it's, it's reliable. Uh, how do we know it's reliable? Well, look back in Scripture and see all the promises that God has made. And the Bible says that not one of them has failed. Imagine, not one of the promises of God has ever failed. And so we can trust in the promises of God. Hey, Pastor Mark and Barb. Steve and I just want to thank you for your faithful years of service here at Broadway. And Mark, I'm going to miss your mission-mindedness at our missions meetings. I know that that's where your heart is, and I know that you will serve the Lord faithfully wherever He calls you to after this. But we just want to thank you and love you and tell you that we love you, and uh, just that we'll be praying for you and wish you all the best. Love you.
God's people have a mind to seek His face and then put themselves in the place of being used of Him, the world will see that what we accomplish is something that only God could have done. Will you be that man? Will you be that woman? Will you be that child who will rise up and say, God, here I am. Send me. I want to do whatever you want me to do. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.